of our four semi-finals so far have gone the full distance. What a semi-final Saturday it is. Well, next up is men's singles, and it's two players who were originally in the qualifying event. One actually came through the qualifying, and that was uh, Li Shifeng, and he's up against the man promoted from uh, the qualifying, Naraoka. Now, these two players are the future of uh, men's singles because we've got the silver medalist from the 2018 World Junior Championships against the gold medalist from the 2018 Youth Olympic Games. Now, when we look at the uh, a draw from the men's singles. We only started with six seeds. By the second round, we were down to three seeds. By quarterfinals, as you can see, we were down to one seed, and that one seed, Li Zijia, is already through to the final in the all Malaysian clash against Liu Darren. Three games, though, there. In the top half of the draw, we had three of the four quarterfinalists who had originally uh, been set to play in the qualifying. That is utterly amazing. Toyota Gazoo Racing Thailand Open 2022, part of the HSBC BWF World Tour Super 500 semi finals. On court one, men's single semi final, Kodai Naoga from Japan. Kodai Naraoka, the World Championship silver medalist from 2018 when the event was staged in Markham in Canada. Lost that final to Kumla Wut Widersan or Thailand. But here he is in a first ever Super 500 or above semi-final. He's been in a World Tour final in that, in fact, was the last World Tour event that he played, the Korean Masters 300 event. His opponent, Lee Shi Fung, who was the gold medalist at the Youth Olympic Games in Buenos Aires in Argentina, also in 2018. So these two players, two of the big talents of our sport in the men's singles discipline. Well, yesterday I noted that it was this man's first ever quarter final at a World Tour event. So obviously today is his first ever semi-final. So both of them are first ever semi-final at this level for the Chinese player. First ever semi-final at an HSBC BWF World Tour event, period. Absolutely amazing. Well, uh, this will be a fourth meeting between these two players of the previous three, Nara Oka has won two of them, Red. including the last time, which Red was the, the second round of the Korean Masters. Red. And considering Side. that so I've just told you that so Naraoka so. went on to reach the final, where he lost out to Jion Hayok Jin, he obviously won that encounter at the Korean Masters. Three games, though, it was in Korea. An hour and 12 minutes for 21-14 in the deciding game. So, Steen, quickly, who won the toss there? Um, I actually didn't see it. Okay. But I would expect that uh, it was Naroka. Well, both of these two youngsters, as far as Kodai Naraoka is concerned. He's the younger of the two, 20 years of age from Omori in North Honshu. He is a 48 in the world ranking at the moment, uh, but did spend a total of four weeks across two different spells as high as 43. And interestingly, he's the fifth ranked Japanese player on the world ranking at the moment. Now, 
This is fascinating because in the first round, he beat Erasmus Gemka in two straight games. Then in the second round, he had a walkover against the defending champion and Olympic champion, Victor Axelsson, the number one seed. In the quarterfinal, he beat another player promoted from the quali qualifying, Nat Ewan of Ireland. So he's only played two matches, uh, the two matches in two straight games, an hour and 48 minutes on court. And you compare those statistics to this man, Li Shi Feng, who's 22 years of age from Nangchung in uh, Jiangxi province, landlocked province in southeast China. He's gone up one place this week to 49, which means that he's uh, one place below his career high of 48, where he spent eight weeks. And he's the eighth ranked Chinese player on the world ranking. He's making his first appearance here now. That uh, hasn't actually shown all of his matches. Ready to play. He actually played two qualifying matches. And that was going to be my point to point out to you because he's played five matches as opposed to two matches from his opponent. And for over his five matches, he has been on court for four hours, 49 minutes. So that's over three hours longer uh, than his opponent. Umpa Nilsakun from Thailand. Service judge also from Thailand. <laughs> so, what a moment for both these players. Ladies and gentlemen, what an opportunity. On the right, Korai Naraoka, Japan. And on my left, Li Shifeng, China. Kodai Naroka to serve. Love all. Play. So it is the man who's only played two matches so far, Naraoka of Japan, who gets this semi final underway. And Steen, it, it really is. You know, a player so who's had to battle one. through the uh, qualifying, one played long. five matches, played uh, three hours longer than his opponent. I mean, surely that must have an effect at some point if this goes a really tough match, don't you think? Mm, not so much here as because in understate, yes. Two so um, I would think that um, a couple of the games that he's played has been um, a bit easier than uh, others. Uh, in the match long. in the first round against his uh, fellow compatriot Sun Fei Shang. The two games he won, he won 21 3, 21 7. Yeah. And dropped the middle game <laughs> to 17. Yeah, so the conditions are a huge effect on yeah. matches, as we were alluding to in the previous semi final. Which was. A perfect example, actually, where we saw a fantastic third game where the first two games were just so so, in my opinion. Oh, yes, nice little clip down across courts from Navarro. So it's over one three. Well, both these players played at third men singles one. in their respective Thomas Cup campaigns last week. And notably, Li Shi Feng actually was promoted to one of the group matches uh, to second 
men's singles because Lu Guangzhou was rested. And he ended up beating the world number three, Anna's Antonsen, in three games. Service over. Two, four. So it's over. Yeah. Five, two of the uh, two. players who suffered from this um, lockdown. I mean, of course, all players have suffered, but I think this age group here that they um, are part of, uh, they've suffered even more because they haven't been able to practice in, in the years where they should develop from really strong junior players and uh, grow into the uh, senior ranks. What? There's been lockdowns and there hasn't been that many tournaments. No, and especially Three, not five. at the lower grade tournaments, which is what their rankings suggest that they should be playing in. Yes. Uh, but they both, I think, developed as players. But of course, it's difficult. This is why they started in the qualifying, uh, because uh, their rankings aren't high enough to automatically get into the draw of these major events. Yeah, well played. So it's over. Six, three. I think a fair bit of this, Dean, is going to be dependent on who handles the situation better because it is a huge opportunity for yeah. one of them to progress through to the final. Nakanishi enjoying that one. I like the fact that Seven. he was going for it, even though he missed it. Yeah. Perhaps that little um, bit of nerves that there mu must be in um, a semi final like this. Six, seven. proactive now than he was right at the start of this match. Nara Oka. Seven, all. Oh. 
mistake. So it's over. Eight, seven. Have you watched either of these two players enough to sort of really know their styles and where their strengths and weaknesses are? No, it's the first time I actually uh, sit and, uh, and watch the full match. Um, so my over. sort of initial Eight, impression four. is that um, uh, Li Xifang, I, I've looked at their results, who they've played, and, and Li Xifang has uh, beaten, in my opinion, better players than uh, Kura Naroka has. Um, funny um, style, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> it's not the tallest of players, Nine, Kura Naroka, uh, and sort of like. Um, Seems a little bit um, sort of um, lackluster at times, but he isn't. It's working. It just looks like that. Oh, a little bit of trickery. <laughs> and um, Li Xifang, a, a um, ten. I must Eight. say that if I would have to choose between them and predict the future, I would have more um, hope for this man here. Um, I still feel he's in his growth, so to speak, that he's not really become senior strong yet, um, where there's no extra steps and, um, and um, really... Uh, confident in his movements and so on. At times he seems to get them um, really uncertain. Interval. Yeah. But uh, with a good comeback, Nara Oka is the player with the advantage. It's a three-point advantage. Having won eight of the last nine points to have an 11 8 at the mid-game interval. <laughs> So eight of nine points for Naraoka. He was pretty impressive. Eleven and play. Oh, oh that was a nice idea. Twelve and. Nine of the last ten points. Oh. Yeah, needed that, did uh, so Nishi Nine, twelve. Yeah, not only has he uh, beaten Antonsen, going back on your points, Dean, about he's beaten some better players. He's beaten Luxia Sane, he's beaten Wang Shu Su Wei, uh, not only here yesterday, but uh, beat him in the past. Yeah. That was at the Badminton Asia Championships just prior to coming here to Thailand. Yeah, I, I couldn't find the right word um, previously, but I think. Naraoka is more finished, I mean, sort of fully uh, developed. He's not totally fully developed, but he's more developed than than Li Xifeng is um, the way I see it. So you think that Li Xifeng 
has more potential, yes. that he can refine skills. I He's think so. Can develop his movement. Oh, that's right into the corner. That's lovely. I, I think um, the style 11, that we're seeing 12. Naroka play now is um, that that's that's how it's going to be. That's how he's going to play. But who knows? I mean, Lakshasen also has his own um, style of play, a little bit more rallying style. But that, that was what I was a little bit um, suspicious about. That um, uh, is he uh, capable of covering the court well enough, um, controlling a match, Naro Cup? But. Um, Perhaps it can be developed. Good touch. Oh, good smash. 13, 12. Long smash. Landed in. Uh, between the tram lines. So five straight points for Lee to go back into the lead. Short. Yeah. Well played. Uh, it was a cross court net shot, one of them that did the damage. Service over. 13. Controlling four. the drift well, is he? No, okay. What was the uh, height difference between them, Joe? Yeah, one's five foot eight, one's five foot eleven, three yeah. inches. Lee, of course, being the taller of the two. He actually looks taller than 5'11 to me. I wonder if my I stats so are too. old. And he's grown a bit since I was given that information. 14, 30. Shots. So yeah, he has a wry smile because he knows ball. it was a bit of a shocker. Played that into the bottom of the net. After all the good work earlier on in the rally, he'll be disappointed with that.
I had a little think about it, but it fell back his side. 16, 14. Oh, it certainly did have a think about it. Fast exchanges. 40. Yeah, and, and sometimes um, Li Xufang seems like um, he's not fast enough to play these exchanges, and then suddenly he plays them actually uh, with good pace. Oh, I challenge that. I thought that was mighty close, Steve. Challenges. You think so? Call. Yeah, I do. Ooh. Hit. Out. I thought it was, I thought it was wide, and I've been brilliant in the first three matches. I can tell you, <laughs> where I didn't have you to put pressure on me. Here we go. Yeah, you were right, Steve. Challenge successful. Right. One challenge remaining. So this is a run of 18, five straight points. No one suspects it might well be play. decisive in this opening game in favour of Li Xifeng. Oh, oh, that's a good shot. That's a fabulous shot. Well, that was a sort of slice. Well, there was a slice in it, but it was 15, played 18. really, really well. You could almost not see it. Yeah, that's fantastic. Was a slice, no question. was gone. Well, the lift from Naraoka. Way short. Had it already broken before that final shot, Steen? I think so. Yes, it has. Look, yeah. look. Yeah. Strings had already broken. So this man, Nara Oka, must have been 16 or 17 when he reached the final of the World Junior Championships, and he's only 20 now. Yeah. I think I heard of him when he was 14 or so. Didn't even react to that Naraoka. Look at that athletic movement. That's beautiful. And how old was it that he is now? 
Naraoka is 20, but he's going to turn 21 next month. Yeah. Right at the end of next month. So, I guess he so must have been 17 what? because 17. the World Junior Championships are in the second half of the year, are they not? Yeah, and he was in the third round of an international challenger in uh, Los Angeles in December 2015. So he's been young back then. Oh, Oi. oh my goodness. Well, that's extraordinary. <laughs> that's hit the top. To play better. Yeah, hit the top of the tape. Got badly deflected and it landed on the line. Look at that. So one point in it. Service over. 20, game point, 18. Good aggression. I like that. At this crucial stage, he earns himself two game point opportunities. Oh, that's a beautiful drop shot. Service over. 19, 20. Yeah, that's where he needs to get stronger, isn't it, Steve? Yeah. Lee, changing direction, pushing off from the base position. Still game point, though, for the Chinese player. recovery from Lee Shi Take a look at this. 90. How did he control Aye. that? Got the net caught. And therefore the opening game. Drops his racket in celebration after he sees his opponent's shot go into the net. Yeah, absolute delight for the qualifier. Li Shi Feng, 21-19, the opening game in 25 minutes. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Second game, level. So one game to the good. Nishi Fung, excellent opening game against Naraoka of Japan. 21-19 in favour of the gold medalist from the Youth Olympic Service Games. Over. One love. Well, it's interesting, Steen, for the second consecutive Thailand Open, we're going to have a player that wasn't originally in the main draw through to the final because whichever of these two players wins whether it's the qualifier or the man promoted from the qualifying. Because at the last Thailand Open, so the man 
promoted from the reserve list. Vitinghus reached the final, if you remember, against yeah, Victor Axelsen. Vitinghus pro probably one of the players who's benefited most from the lockdown because he went into those two tournaments and uh, played so well that he got onto the final. His ranking <laughs> increased. Figure out who he reminded me of, uh, Li Shifeng. But now I've um, now I've found out, and it's actually two persons. It's a mixture of two persons, yep. and they're both fairly good, both of them. It's a mixture of a young Bao Chun Lei from the uh, body stature, of course, not so much from the technical skills as Bao was left-hander and um, a super technician, in my opinion. But but the body stature and um, Shi Yu Qi. Xiu Qi's playing style, Service no over. nonsense, um, efficient yeah. playing style. If we mix these two, I think we have Li Xifeng. Yeah, I can, s I can see exactly where you're coming from on that. A good net shot. Service over. Three, two. He has played the net well so far, has Li Shifeng. Good shot. Yeah. It's really close to the line. Li Shifeng challenges. Oh, I thought he touched it. In. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't mind looking at that again. I was convinced he'd touched it. Obviously not. It's driving on the shoulder as well. Li Shifeng there. You see the tape coming out of the um, arm of the red shirt. Well, correction out. Uh, challenge is cor correct. Correct, so sir. Assuming that he didn't touch it, uh, I'd be fascinated Four, to see that again. Two, play. Missed it. Service over. Five.
Well, he's challenging that one as well. Li Shifeng challenges Paul Li Shifeng. Cool then. He believes it was out. Unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Yeah, and uh, while well, we had that little break, I figured out who uh, Kurai Naroka reminds me Four, about. And five, I also play. have to say that uh, in the initial phase of this match, you know, I underestimated his technical skills. He's actually got very good technical skills. Uh, just not so controlling as. Um, I would hope to see him, but uh, I think this is how Akan Yamaguchi would play men's single. If we could uh, transfer her Our left and her playing style into Sorry, men's single, I think it would Six. look something like this. Four. The rallying style, putting pressure on, but. Um, Good technical skills, good retrieval skills. Oh, shot. that's a, a lovely, lovely angle. Service so over. Five, six. that wasn't he wasn't the tightest of shots from Lee no but you still have to be there to yeah. uh, be able to capitalize on it and he was where I haven't really thought a lot about the drift. It seems like it hasn't mm. affected uh, their game that much. No. Goodness, that was a golden opportunity missed. Eight, six.
Oh, he has more six. of an ability, I think, Li Shifang, to finish off a rally than his opponent. Yeah. I think he has more winning weapons. Yeah, this, this I mean, this is a good smash. Um, and I don't think Naraoka has that threat, so to speak. So he's got to play the slices, um, play the um, intercepted smashes, the steep smashes, uh, if the possibility is there. Missed it. Well, is that the first over. sign of fatigue? Seven, I wonder. Nine. Yeah. You're sitting with the um, question mark as to whether Li Xifang is able to follow pace the whole way through as well. Yeah. Yeah. Name wide. It's live. concerned about Nishi Fang. He was asked to play one shot too many with high quality. That one was one too many. Good retrieval skills by um, Naroka. hurry to get back on court at all. No. Short, yeah. So it's over. Yeah, he gets in trouble nine. with the drift there. Good interception by Li Shifeng. It looks like he's taller than 180. Yeah, it does, doesn't but it? But he's grown. That's a wild one. Eleven, nine, and that means that Li Shifeng goes to the mid-game interval with a two-point advantage. <laughs> Seemed to be on good balance. Uh, that would have been a great double shot. So again, and a two-point advantage for the Chinese player. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds.
Well, the umpire, I can tell you, is having a word with Li Shi Fang because he uh, took longer than his minute timeout. Eleven line. Changed Play. his shirt. Umpire is not going to tolerate that sort of time wasting. He already has. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> I mean. At least he's now given the player a warning. Yeah. Again, in trouble with uh, the Thirteen lift to the forehand nine. of uh, Li Shi Feng gets intercepted. Does the shot from uh, Naroka. Oh, well, it was a brilliant idea. 11, 30. And Naraoka was nowhere near it. Had it have gone over, it would have been an outright winner. Look how Naraoka is on his way to the back of the court. These are the, uh, the last couple of rallies. I felt that Naroka really needed to be winning those. Yeah. I felt that's when he needed to pile on the pressure, get himself back into the match. Now we can see the goal line, Li Xufeng. Yeah. And the thing is that I mean, Naroka has not been able to dictate the rallies, so to speak. Leaves too much time for his opponent, in my opinion. He gets an awful lot back, and uh, definitely needs to give him that credit. Yeah, he does get a lot back, but I felt in the last few rallies, he's been the one making mistakes from his overhead shots, yeah. and, and that hasn't put his opponent under pressure, because I think there's definite signs that Li Shi Fang is beginning to tire. Should not okay. win and play Li Xijia. Tomorrow he would definitely want to be controlling the match a little bit more than today because he's going to be facing a much, much stronger attack. This is a good rally. Yeah, another sign of tiredness. A tired looking shot, the last yeah. one. 13, 40. I thought I sensed it a little earlier too, Steve. Okay. 
Yeah, it's called for the doctor now, as Li Shifeng. He's got strapping on his left leg. He's got strapping on his right oh. shoulder. Now he's got a problem with his ankle. Well, there's no tape on that angle. No, and it's very fortuitous time as we've noticed that he's really beginning to struggle physically. Hate to say this, Steve, but we did see that in Thomas the Cup finals with some players. Yeah. watching this again I can tell you that one of the tournament referees is standing over Lee as he reties his shoelace and of course the fact that he asked for spray on an ankle and he insisted on taking off the shoe taking off the sock of course it's all it taking time it's all taking time yeah, we've discussed it earlier I feel this need for more um, transparent rules about um, injury timeouts. On the other hand, had he had a uh, blood injury on his um, 13, left hand 14. that needed to be treated. Play. Lots of striving. Yeah. As you mentioned, Jill. Oh, that was clearly him. Yeah. Really moving him now. And this is exactly the way Naro Oka should be playing this match at this particular moment. Try and move your opponent as much as possible. If there's an injury problem, and certainly if they're beginning to tire. Service over. 15, 14. Yeah, that was a well placed smash. Looked to be on the line. Yeah, didn't seem to be an awful lot wrong with that movement, in all honesty. It's very so difficult it's to do something 15, about it unless you have some strict rules regarding timing of uh, injuries and, uh, and stuff like that because I can tell you that I can mention a few tricks as well yeah. to, uh, to get some uh, treatment. So unless there's a timer on, it's uh, almost impossible to uh, do anything. Sent for it again. 16, 15. No, okay, it's so just about warm now. Yeah. That's what happens when you're tired. 17, 15. Oh, he's a good shot. 
service over. 16, 17. Missed it. Oh, Jess challenged that. That was clearly wide in my Order opinion. Naraoka, challengers call in. Was that called in? Production out. Service over. 18, 16. Play. are flowing from this man's racket right now. 1916. Well, I think has pretty much hit the wall. Expression we have when fatigue suddenly hits. point opportunities to level this semi-final at one game apiece. Six of the last seven points. Amazing. Oh, good save. Amazing. Game. It's one game all. Second game won by seven Kodai of the last Naraoka. eight points. To close 16, out the second game. One game all. Twenty-one sixteen. Second game. That's clever last shot, wasn't it? Because they were embroiled in those flat fast exchanges and had the presence and the clear thinking just to flick it over his opponent's head. So we're three minutes shy of the hour mark as we prepare for the third and deciding game. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Final game, level play. So 
So third undeciding game. And the big question mark in my mind is what sort of energy has Li Shi Feng got left? He's playing from the better end at the over. start of this One deciding long. game. And he simply has to capitalise on that. Oh, yeah. That's a missed opportunity. To love. He was rewarded for going the uh, diagonal there. Li Xu Feng. Yeah, now he's stretching his back. <laughs> Applying extra cool spray to his um, left um, hip, left groin. Li Xu Feng during the interval. Rally. Yeah, they're both tired. Tired looking movement there from Naro Oka. His torso sort of collapsing forward. No, we won't see it from this angle. That one. Yeah. So, in the middle of that rally, he had a big, big opportunity highlighting our concern about his um, raw attacking power. coming forward Japanese player yeah, got really caught he was expecting the drop shot earlier on in the rally it was before this I think they're toying with um, a yellow card. The players. Well, I think it is very lenient Five, one. umpiring. They're taking an age in between rallies.
Sums over. Two, five. Threaded it down the line. Three, five. Strings gone. Service over. Six three. Okay. Just change the racket. Okay. I just to uh, change the racket, but. Um, Xu Feng has already been at the kit box and uh, toweling down. Yeah. 40 seconds spent so far. Yeah. 45. Service so over. Four, six. Oh. 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 Yeah. That's a good move by uh, yeah. Fiji Funk. Had the courage to really so go over. for the Seven, four. one at the front of the court there. And it paid dividends. Well, they're both struggling now, physically. Yeah. Time, Steen. Fifty-five seconds. Yeah, that's a uh, that's an interval. Interval. Missed it. Uh, took the chance again in that rally. Li Shi Feng. To try and rush the net this time, it didn't pay off. Well, that was way out. Service over. Five eight. 
Well, from the way he's been moving, I really don't think there's an awful lot wrong with that ankle. <laughs> I mean, of course, we, you know, we don't know. I mean, no. we have no idea how much pain somebody's in, but time in between those rallies. 50 seconds. Yeah. You see, look at that movement there. Yeah. been very good at the net play Songs in this over. match. Lishi Fang yeah. on the net court. Just wide. Service over. Six, nine. Do you see that Lee is just shaking his legs a little bit at the moment? No, maybe beginning, yeah, maybe beginning to get a little bit of cramp. I think this is a, a really crucial phase of the match, you know, Steen. Yeah, I think when they change ends, then um, Naoka can play it more away from the net and um, play the back line of um, Li Xifeng. So at the moment, a little bit momentum. Well, I think the umpire was saying to Naraoka that he shouldn't be having a drink, but his opponent was having a drink. Lane. Difficult to hear what the umpire was saying. Yeah. Well, we've spent 55 seconds again. Yeah. I mean, if we're spending an average of 50 seconds between rallies, uh, it's it's not the average, but but I mean we've had a couple of fifty second. And now it's we're going wide. to have an interval soon. Yeah. Nine, oh. No, this is a shorter time. How long is that? About 25, don't we? Are we running towards 30? Yeah. So five straight points 
from the Japanese player. So there'll be so just one point in it and have to change bends. And the advantage so is with Nara Oka. Well, an hour and 15 minutes into the match. Players change ends for the final time. I <laughs> ダリーのスタートして、ね、最初の方だね。10回続けを来るよ。だからドロップ。あと30 now, I think by the gestures there, Steen, there was something about at steep angles from side to side. Now, whether that's watch out for those or whether you try and uh, play those, I wasn't sure. Uh, if, if it was me, I would try to play them <laughs> if, um, yeah. if possible. But also uh, something to watch out for because, I mean, Naroka is not going to fire a lot of those 100% um, smashes. looking shot. Seven of the last eight points to Naro Oka. So it's over. 12, all. And I think also uh, nerves will kick in if it's fairly close towards the end of this um, third game. as well from uh, 13, Lee 12. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, had the speed of thought to see where the gap was and
play it into that space. It was a definite trying to play it cross court. It wasn't yeah. just reactive. to play it. I think he did well because yeah. I think actually he was going to stay in but I had the same impression. 14 to 12. Oh, this is four straight points. Having lost seven of the previous eight, this is really good mental strength and fortitude from Li Shifeng. Challenge here from Li Xifeng. Li Xifeng. Challenges call out. So this challenge from either player in this deciding game. And he was a little bit hesitant about the challenge there. I thought he was. It's way out. Yeah. Way out. Here we go. Yeah. Perhaps more of a tactical challenge. Challenge unsuccessful. I think it was. One challenge remaining. Service over. 13, 14, play. signs that Naraoka so has 15, lost his mental discipline. 30. It's uh, more difficult to play the defense when you're a little bit nervous because you have to play with accuracy. It's easier to attack when you yeah. can sort of let loose. Yeah, I agree. Definite a winner or error. So it's over. 14 15. It had enough of that. Good We've discussed it previously, Jill, and um, it's not too long since we had a challenge where the players could towel down, had a little drink. Now we have a long rally here. There's nothing to be mopped on the court. We've just gone out because we played a long rally. And I, I, I think that uh, something needs to be done about this because the physical part of badminton is taking away. Yes. And, it, and it's, uh, it's supposed to be a major part of the sport. It must be jolly near to a minute now. It's a minute now. Yeah. Over. 16, 40. Perhaps we need a, a shot clock. 
like tennis, but the problem is when the court needs to be mopped, you never have the court mopped in tennis, really, do you? Ever? No. Oh, now I saw that as in. Oh, I saw that as in as well. Yeah. Aroka, challenges called in. I just think we need to give the umpires some tools to figure out what continuous play is. Is it, yeah. is it uh, three seconds? Is it seven seconds? Is it between five and ten, which I thought would be a good idea? Then I think the moppers are the ones that hold the players' towels. That works well in, uh, in tennis. There's lots of things that can be done, in my opinion. Yeah. Good oh, challenge. It was a good challenge. Origin, oh, I'm really surprised by that, I have to say. So I, I so really can over. understand the umpires, 15, um, especially those that are not Play. present at every tournament that hasn't got the um, experience. It's tough for them to um, be in there and have to do everything uh, at their best um, judgment. Yeah. He's really going for this Li Shi Fang. Yeah. Look at this. It's almost like a, a routine, wasn't it? It's a Smash. practice exercise. Yeah. Right. Then the block to the net, then the net shot, then the lift. Yeah, I don't understand why he doesn't go cross and then move immediately because going cross, he gets help from the sideways drift as well. Even a, a straight block will be difficult for Naroka. <laughs> He's in prayer. Coach Nakanishi. Oh, my goodness, what a net shot again from Li Shi Fang. He has played the net quite brilliantly in so this semi final. Look at that. Yet another net court. 16. Wow. It's a fantastic touch from that yeah. um, position. And it has its reward. 16. Yeah, and I would go for that backhand side whenever the opportunity was there. If I'm Willie Shifong. For Naroka, he needs to take control of the rallies now, I think. It's difficult for him. That's better. Slide it in. Good lens on the punch clear there from Naroka. So it's over. 17, 18. Well, two minutes shy of an hour and a half this match has been in duration. I wonder how long the rallies have been in total actual play. Play. Yeah, there has been some good rallies. Yeah. Um, 
And my estimate is uh, around 25 minutes. Oh, it's a good smash. Two-point advantage and two points away from a place in his first ever World Tour Tournament final. <laughs> Lots of nerves here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good deception. Well, there was almost a celebration there from Li Shi Fang. He still needs another point. Can't afford to celebrate too early. You watch him when this rally is done. Look at that. And it would be um, a good achievement for China if he can go into the final. Li Xufeng didn't have the best of Thomas Cops in uh, last week. Last point, 17. Well, it would mean that all Chinese matches, and this is the fourth on Play. court number one, so all matches on court number one involving oh. Chinese players. If he wins this, so all Chinese players have prevailed. Save. Yeah, wonderful save. Of course, I've just given you duck information, of course, haven't I? Because the Olympic so champions lost over. to the world champions in the mixed doubles. 20. So one match point has been saved. was hoping it was out rather than believing it was out. 19, 20. Two match points have come and gone. Just one more remains. On. Yeah. Finally, the umpire says, no, you've got to play on. Spin. That's, That's going right. wide, and on his third Game. match point opportunity, Li Shifeng finally converts the qualifier. Has now come through six matches to book his place in tomorrow's final against the number six seed Li Shijia of Malaysia. 21-19 in the deciding 21, game. 21-19, 16, 21, 21-19. An hour and 33 minutes. The duration of the match, yeah. Drops his racket in celebration, lifts his arms aloft.
and he's through to his first ever World Tour Tournament final. Confirmation of the scoreline, 21-19, 16-21, 21-19 in the deciding game and in an hour and 33 minutes. So the longest match on semi-finals day so far just concluded. Li Shi Feng coming through against Naro Oka of Japan. Next up is women's doubles, and it is the All England champions Matsuyama and Shida up against Perli Tan and Tina Muralitharan of Malaysia. Her first semi-final at Super 500 or above for the Malaysia.